BCC is a non-mining coin, so they use a new, totally new consensus, faster and cheaper, and confirm very quickly. That's a difference. Hi everyone, this is Jack. So many people call me Jack Liao and uh, I invested in Bitcoin in 2013 and I have uh, many different business like uh, miner, ATM, wallets and mining. So I created Bitcoin Gold Management end of last year and sponsored a new project, Bitcoin Cash Classic. Yeah, for Bitcoin Cash Classic, it's a long story why I will sponsor it and why I active so spend so much time to promote it. So Bitcoin, in the past four or five years, the whole community talk about how to scale Bitcoin. So we can see in 2017, there's uh, so many arguments. There's say one mega plus segwits is today Bitcoin they use then. Uh, Bitcoin Cash BCH, they use, uh, let's say, the big block and the cheaper transaction fee. Then I found Bitcoin Gold and uh, the targets changed mining algorithm from POW to SHA 256 to GPU mining. So today many, many community members, they want, they all say they believe in big block and cheap transaction fee. But today we can see BCH ABC and the BCH SV, they are still promote them as real Bitcoin, but they use POW. Their performance is still not good enough to make big block and cheaper transaction fee be real. Only to upgrade the consensus algorithm, you can do higher and higher TPS and the cheap enough the fee. So some developers come to talk with me say, Jack, I have some new idea. We can change from POW to DAG, DAG, to make highest TPS and confirm in seconds and totally free, zero fee to use. Mm -hmm. Then I think about this idea, I say, oh, that's good. So after I quit the Bitcoin Gold management, I give Myself, another idea is I will sponsor more developers, give them more chance to try their best to figure out which one is the good. Or the market can decide which one is good. Yeah. So I sponsor Bitcoin Cash Classic this project and uh, I help uh, them, I give them some idea about uh, the community and uh, Help them to connect, especially in Asia community and China, Korea and Japan, even Malaysia and Singapore. So now I invest in Coinfinite. I'm the shareholder of it. Mm -hmm. So I will bring, I bring BCC's great project to Coinfinite, and I will bring more community members, more leaders to Coinfinite, and to help the whole this company success and helps Korea community success in the future. Yeah, so for Bitcoin Gold, I want to use this project to connect some experience about if we change the mining algorithm, what will happen. So I funded this project. Bitcoin Gold project never raised any funds and we keep away from the market. We never public any information to talk about the price and the team never do trading. So I forbidden all the key members public any information about the price and we never do any trading. No, the whole team has 100,000 Bitcoin gold. You can check on the blockchain. Blockchain is public. There nobody can make, make uh, any hidden deal. So today the whole team still has about 70,000 Bitcoin gold, never moved. So for me, Bitcoin gold is one project to protect Bitcoin. So when I have Bitcoin gold 
project got success, has some team, developers, has worldwide the committee members, and at least on so many exchange. I have done my works. So then I quit the management just like uh, Satoshi Nakamoto. Mm. Then I start another new trip for myself to have more good developers and to start some new project in order to make our cryptocurrency community more safe. And if we are lucky enough, if there is a next bull market, maybe the BCC committee members can make some money with me together. Of course, there, there is risk. So uh, for BCC, BCHABC, BCHSV, and uh, BTG, first, BCC is uh, non mining coin, so they use uh, new, totally new consensus, DAG. And the uh, BTG, BCHSV, and the BCHABC, they use POW. BTG uses GPU mining, so the hash power is from internet. And uh, BCHABC and the BCHSV, they are use POW SHA 256. So their price decided their hash rate. So that means today, BCH, ABC, and SV, they are so dangerous because they have only 1% to 3% hash power compared with Bitcoin. It means any pool can attack, 51% attack BCH, ABC, or SV. They have no choice, mm. only to change their mining algorithm in the future. Mm. Yeah. So, but for BCC, it's used DIG. It has great potential to grow fast because new technology brings the brilliant new performance. It means faster and cheaper and confirm very quickly. That's the difference. Yeah, okay, DH1 totally new consensus algorithm compared with POW, you know. POW uh, uses the computer to calculate some mathematics to get a random key, especially for Bitcoin or Bitcoin fork coin like BTG, BCH, ABC, BCH, SV. They use every 10 minutes, they will get one block. It means every transaction, you have to wait 10 minutes, average. But you know, this kind of mathematics, if you're lucky, you can get it, get the right answer just in seconds. But if you're unlucky, maybe you need to wait 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Yeah. But the DAG is totally different design. Mm -hmm. So use DAG, there's no block. Mm -hmm. When you create the transaction, you broadcast and the node got this information, they will confirm it and broadcast to a next node. So when more nodes got this information, it means your transactions got record. Mm -hmm. So that's why DAG can be, the TPS can be much higher than POW. And uh, that's why you can confirm the transaction very soon, just a little second. Mm -hmm. And it's totally free. Right. And DH can save the energy. You know, today, Bitcoin is about uh, 70 exa. It means need uh, 7 million or 6 million kilowatts. So it's like uh, one small, it's more than one small country. They just uh, used to generate the, some random number. It's not, this random number is useless. That's, uh, this is uh, the other, like a community or even the enemy of the Bitcoin, they use this to attack the Bitcoin community. But DAG has advantage. It's just use some server. Then they can record the transaction to protect the security of the blockchain. Yeah, so 
BCC has a great advantage, it's about uh, very fast to confirm and uh, totally free. So everybody know the internet business model is most of the services free. When you got as much as users, then you can create your business to make some money. So if there's as more as more possible people to use BCC to do transaction or store the value, it means more people they need to buy and sell the coin, right? Or the OTC or the brokers. When they can make money to buy and sell the coin from their, their users. So this is our business model. First, let's more people to use it. Then the market will give the answer about how to make the money. Only cryptocurrency give the chance to the people give their power or right to control their own money. So let's don't talk about the about money if this is dirty money or money how say laundry these kind of things. For the most of people, you cannot pr protect your own money, whatever. So cryptocurrency can help the people to protect your money. Your money is controlled by yourself. And uh, you know the the for there's some country, corrupted country. The people has no choice. So, but today, you can take a look in Venezuela. Many people use Bitcoin to buy something or to sell something. You can see their, their, their fiat is just even cheaper than the, the, the papers, right? So, cryptocurrency can help the world at least 10% or 20%. So, this is a great market. Or say, Cryptocurrency can help the human rights. Mm -hmm. Of course, crypt cryptocurrency gives the rights to control the give the right to the people to control their life. It means you have the right, so it means you have the duty. So our community needs to spend more time to do education about the how to protect your cryptocurrency. Even for me, I lose uh, a few times my my coins. So the community, I think, spend, need to spend more time to educate or help some users to know what is crypt, crypto account and how to protect your asset or money, crypto money, currency, not be stolen or not be cheated by other people. Yeah, blockchain is a great chance and whatever you are IT people or financial people or just the normal people. If you want to find some innovation, you should spend small money. Of course, your free money. Whatever to invest, to buy the coin or invest to some startup company, then you can get on this more and more fast train.